Tilde has been entering every week for the past few weeks, which is it's pretty consistent, but I don't know if they've played before. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been super um, with the Xeno weeklies for the streams, unfortunately, so I've missed a lot of, like, a lot of stuff. Like, seeing Tilde pop off, like, I've seen him in person a little bit, but I know he's been, like, a pretty big presence on the weekly here. At least, like you say, in the past few weeks. This is a matchup that till, that uh sorry Falco used to do like really. It was one of the few matchups uh, Falco did really really well in. Uh, then Falco got buffed significantly, and now he does a lot better in it. But then we fit got buffed back, so kind of interested in seeing like how um, this goes. What made it uh, good in Falco's favor was it just like his air speed lets him get in pretty fast, and then he's got good enough hitboxes to challenge Wee Fit off stage? Or that's definitely part of it. Another part of it is that uh, Wee Fit trainer, at least for Sun Salutation, uh, she is allowed to duck underneath it. But if he does it at certain ranges, Falco, he can actually reflect it back way more than most characters can, mm -hmm. and still like guarantee a hit with fully charged Sun Salutation, which is really good in this matchup. Bang. That is pretty good. Because the big thing that uh that we for trainers want to go for is unreactable uh is unreactable uh sun salutation Ooh. charges at like really close ranges. But if Falco keeps her at an arm's distance, he can kind of get those he can do it at outside, you can do it in the reacting range and still get the hit. I've got you. That makes sense. Then Tilde looks like he's playing this pretty well. He's uh Keeping a lot of pressure on. Try to go for the regrab on that one, but no such luck. Drag down into mix. Yeah. There's the fact that like Tilde has like a really good combo game, and uh, Wefa Trainer is kind of combo for Falco. Really? And yeah, numbers is saying in, in the mat in the uh, chat right now that Wefa Trainer can do well, but she has to play really. She has to play like super uh, lame. Like she has to play very defensive and try to play around the way Fox is playing. Which is annoying, especially when Falco's only lasering. Yeah, that definitely does make it sound more like it's a winning matchup for Falco if he's the one who dictates the pace and we Fit has to like work to try to get her own thing going. And the good thing about uh, yeah. okay, really good left trump. This is way back to volleyball. That was good. That was a good kick. I can def definitely also see how um, zoning out with lasers would be annoying because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Falco lasers mm -hmm. nice, good challenge. Oh, right. that's the other aspect of the matchup is uh, if Vivich trying to com commits to a deep moving or does a header in a bad position, uh, Falco is one of the characters that's really well equipped to kill for that because of his uh, really really good uh, aerial mobility and his really good second jump. Yes. And that, that's such, like, a linchpin for so many characters in this matchup, too, is that one of the, the like, main strategy for a lot of Wii Fit matchups is, like, you know what? If I feel pressured at all, I'm just going to chuck myself off the stage, get some deep breathing in, work my way back to, you know, mid-stage with header or sun salutation. Can we replay or... that last one, Devin? The, yeah. I, I, I just feel the need to point out Luigi's audacity here. <laughs> the absolute and audacity until they did not murder him for it. <laughs> and now to he be fair, I think that for, for that reason, it was a really good mix-up because Tilde was shielding. He was like, this guy isn't going to deep breathe when I'm right in front of him, right? That wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> if he was remotely ready, he was dead. <laughs> Sometimes Reminded, he really do best of five. Ah, oh, best of fives, yes. Yeah. Good start. A lot of deep breathing damage. Look at that damage, dude! <laughs> oh my God. It's okay. Uh, so they'll get back because uh, we have the trainer's combo. Yeah. So that's actually kind of interesting to me because we fit is not like <laughs> standing in too many ways as far as yeah. <laughs> well, they're they're back to about even percents now. Oh, nice. Yeah, the classic. No, we, we just got messed up by the the tomahawk. <laughs> Two up till. Yep. Tilt to back air. That's the take the Tims to the register. I'm Yo, I love that. <laughs> Good awareness from Tilde. 
Bad, bad, bad lunch. Bad fastball from something. Okay, trying to trying to mix up with the volleyball. Look at these empty jumps, dude. But <sighs> I, I, I mean, you know what? I can't blame Tilde for not punishing that uh, the audacity of that deep breathing right next to the ledge, considering that like he would have gotten very little off of it. Oh, no, that's a terrible position oh, no. to be in this. Falco, he's fine. Yo! He's fine, Yo! see? He's fine, see? Yep. Nah, I won't for forward air, me. for down air, bro. I just go for forward air. It's an easy, it's an easy kill at that percent. <laughs> oh, man. To be fair, down air is one of those, like, real feel-good aerials when you hit it. No, and it definitely is. You can also just get the guaranteed kill, and Luigi's is, uh... Not covering perfectly. Unfortunate. That might be, um... Because John has told me that when you're recovering with Wii Fits up B, you have to wiggle around a little bit to get the absolute max height, so that was maybe a misinput on that. Or, not misinput, but he didn't get the right wiggle. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you mean by wiggle, but yeah, I'll take your word for it. Numbers wants to commentate and knows not doing well. Uh, we he might, appreciate um, your insight. He might, uh... I don't know. The the way he'd explained it, the most that I remember at least, is that if you go straight up with Wii Fits up B, you won't get as much distance as if you, like, hang to the left and then come back to the right. Yeah, he's confirming you situation. do not need to wiggle to get extra height. And I'm like, I don't no? really... Yeah. Weird! <laughs> you see, like, a specific I... mash time. That's all. Oh, okay. That might be it. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe it's... Maybe it's because he was like, because I remember we did like a training session with me and him because he wanted to lab out against Palutena. And he was like, oh yeah, this is how I do the max distance. But I guess it must just be a pummel thing like, or a mash thing. Yeah, but he's just confirmed yeah. the only factor for height is hitting B at the pop. Okay, I've got you. I apologize for the horrible misinformation and slander that we fit these to <laughs> Horrible. How dare horrible. you be wrong? How dare I? All right, so till this. <laughs> yeah, that's the classic. Yep, there it is. That's a true combo. <laughs> the audacity, the absolute audacity. Go. Look, watch, watch this. I'm gonna crouch under this idiot's option. He's never gonna see it coming, and to get whacked in the face by down tilt. <laughs> oh my god. Just to confirm for everybody listening, uh, much like Bowser, there is a rhythm to. Uh, to the trainers up B, you need to do it at a specific timing. You need to, you need to do it at a specific timing in order to get the uh, mm -hmm. the maximum height. If you just mash as hard as possible, you're gonna you're not gonna go nearly as far. Yes. Is that um is that true of DK as well or no? DK has the same height regardless of whether you mash or not. Pretty sure. Okay. Gotcha. Ready? Yeah. What a game too. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what other character requires. Pacific. Uh, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of the ones that have like mashable upbees. Villager and Isabelle, I'm pretty sure you can just mash to your heart's content. I don't think that's a good timing. Yeah, thing. have fuel. Once the fuel the runs out, that's when you drop. But all right. Oh, oh boy. Oh yeah, boy. I, I was kind of expecting something nasty there. That was a weird hit up there. So Luigi's is getting hit in that uh, hit one of a multi-hit vortex, where you're just getting hit by a multi-hit, and then you fall out, and you don't react, and then you get hit by another multi-hit one hit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you're just like, uh, what do I, what, when do I get to play? Exactly, you get kicked off the bus halfway to your destination, man. Oh. Sad uh, reacts only, bro. Yep. You don't want to be reaching for the ledge when uh, Falco has his foot there. No, absolutely not. Uh... No, Louis! Till day. Oh, okay. What? For those of you who don't know, that setup that Louis Jesus just did, um, that up smash has intangibility. Like, you just, you can't beat it. It's a legitimate, like, invincible anti-air. And, uh, he extended the hurt box with the soccer ball. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that extends the invincibility as well. I feel like there could have been a way better punish on that dash attack, but he got the punish. He's dead! How did DI 
Did you or was he like actually dead there? That's crazy. Oh, we're going for a ride. Oh, we're going for a ride. Oh. <laughs> Long was that game? That was hella short. It's two and a half minutes. So I stop looking One. to address a bracket issue, and then I look up, and it's like, oh, Falco! Oh, oh man, what did, what did he try to do there? I swear I saw back air or something after he hit the two spikes, but I don't think that would be right. I feel like a back air in that situation would save uh, Louis. Yeah, that that was. That was very quick. That was a lot more slugging than I was expecting. I was expecting... Oh, you know it's funny? Thing. You say that? Because they both said, uh... Before they started playing, Luigi just went, Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna play lame this set. And, and <laughs> so they said, yeah, me too. And I'm like, uh, you guys, uh, neither of you followed through on that promise, really. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what, uh, how lame this is in whatever universe you live in, but it's not here. 